to the morning show. It's Kelly and Barbara with you this morning and every other morning, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. Serving as your ultimate guide for survival hacks, sanity checks, and some laughs along the way. Now, Get Active TV has you covered from morning till night with daily workouts from 8:30 uh, at 8:30 a.m. and also 3 p.m. We've also got Ben Logan with What You're Cooking on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Plus, as of this week, ladies, get your fix every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. on evenings with John and Duncan. Don't say we bought your arm. We're also running the easiest giveaway ever each day with plenty of goodies just for you. And because we are all about that voucher life, guys, oh, yeah. don't forget, uh, we've got vouchers from Kydra coming your way. But first, let's get down to business, shall we? It was a glowing report yesterday mm -hmm. at 5 p.m. when Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long went live to tell us exactly how positive things were and how measures were helping, how we, as one Singapore, have been doing so well to stick together and stay united. And then a four-week whammy got slipped in, but not without good reason. The number of unlinked cases are always worrying, and it's uh, definitely something that we should be looking out for. A little inconvenience now will be better for us in the long run. That's right. Our cases are approaching the 10K mark, but our fatalities are still low. So plenty to be thankful for. And as our PM said at yesterday's press conference, we must all press on together to bring down the daily infections more sharply to a single digit or even zero if possible. If you do need to go out, go by yourself, not as a group or even as a family anymore. If you're exercising outside, do so by yourself and only in your neighborhood. I know there are a number of people that mm. have been saying, yes, this is my chance to go to McRitchie or Ubin or wherever. No, guys, in your neighborhood. You can head over to myactivesg.com for the latest COVID-19 updates on Sport SG's advisory on the tightened measures for sports and physical exercise during the extended circuit breakup period, which is now until the 1st of June this year. Year. That's right. So let's get those numbers in. Singapore's COVID cases top 9,000 after 1,111 cases were reported. I know a lot of you are going to be tempted to buy 4D after that number, um, with the vast majority of the new cases being the work permit holders residing in foreign worker dormitories. 20 cases are Singaporeans or permanent resident, uh, residences with no imported cases at all, which of course is why we now have this new four-week whammy. Yes. Uh, much like playing Uno, where your friend throws in that plus four card and you can't reverse it. Oh. Anyway, we've got the good stuff coming your way to hopefully brighten your day and lift up the gloom and doom. Before what have we, got? we get to that, um, we just want to say, so with the new measures that were put in place, yes. um, obviously bubble tea is going to get shut down. Yes. Uh, guys, has, I think. <laughs> guys, they, they did not mean just because they did it at 4 or 5 p.m. that you had to rush for bubble tea after that. So there were queues and queues of people who were going out to get their final bubble tea fix. Um, not to worry, we are going to address this a little bit later on, mm -hmm. and hopefully uh, you can get your bubble tea fix at home now. So that's right. It's okay. You know, my biggest regret I wish I got Ange to cut my hair on the show yesterday. Oh. Is hairdressing become non-essential? Hairdressing is now non-essential, so ah. everything we talked about yesterday now even more relevant because you're going to be cutting your hair at home. You've got to do... Oh, no. Oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't yeah. hear that part. Oh. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have cut my fringe. All right, so we <laughs> have got the good stuff for you when it comes to giveaways. So far, over the last two days, we've had vouchers given away um, from the masses mm -hmm. as well as the, the black, black hole. Group. And it is... Just been great giveaways going on. And obviously, we always want to support local businesses. Um, and we're just super glad that we have a platform to be able to do that. So make sure that you're taking part in our contest. It's super easy to do. We've had spot the difference over the past couple of days. Mm -hmm. But today, we're making it even easier for you to take part. We've got Kydra vouchers to be given away. And all you need to do is make sure that you like our Get Active TV page. Yep. You have to share the video on your personal page and tag a friend telling us why you need some new sportswear. Let's face it, we're all living in our activewear. That's true. So we're going to be back really, really soon. Um, we're popping for a quick break, but when we do come back, yes. 
Alison Snyder is in the studio with Kelly. I'm mm -hmm. going to be going for a quick break to talk to us a little bit about how we can better sit at home. to the morning show. I hope that you've managed to use that break to make sure that you get all your entries into our challenge to hopefully walk away with those Kydra vouchers. Don't forget to comment on Get Active TV's Facebook page as well and share our link to the show. Now Barbara's left me for a little while but we know that she's actually submitting her entry to our challenge. But joining me now is Alison Snyder from Backjoy, Managing Director of Backjoy here in Singapore. Uh, Alison, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks Kelly. Good to um, see you. Okay, so let's maybe get straight to it. Backjoy, what is it exactly? So Backjoy is a very simple posture support cushion. Mm -hmm. um, it's been designed, I'll, I'll use this one, but I actually am sitting on one too. Yeah, me too. Uh, this is our newest version, by the way, the Angel. It's been designed so that the weight of your legs simply lifts your pelvis mm -hmm. into a neutral position. And that position helps you have a healthy posture. Interesting. Now, we've had different experts in every morning to help teach us stretches and go through it, but posture is one of the things that keeps coming up because we're spending a lot more time sitting down. Exactly. So what, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but like at the moment, so like I'm sat on a back joy as well. Um, and what, what, it's, <laughs> what it essentially does is it hugs your bum in a really nice way. Um, it's available at pharmacies, so it's not something that's just been created. It's something that a lot of research has actually gone into, right? That's right. It's actually been around since 1984. Oh, wow. Uh, and the inventor created it because his father was experiencing back pain. So through a lot of discussion with doctors, they created this simple concept to help bring your pelvis into a neutral position. Um, if you're sitting, typically um, back pain is caused from bad posture. Mm -hmm. And if you're sitting like this, yep. that's going to cause that's going to cause back pain. Okay. And if you're sitting too far forward, that's going to cause back pain. So being able to sit in a neutral position is most important. Okay. So do we have maybe a couple of stretches that we can do to alleviate that, make sure that we're constantly in the correct position? I mean, sitting on this back row at the moment, I'm already feeling the, the ability to sort of just like rock right. around and move around it's on this. It's designed to help you move while you sit. Uh, as Kelly said, working from home right now is everybody's problem, right? And 
So we're trying to help people come up with ways to remember to stand up and move, and if you are sitting, to sit properly. Um, the worst thing that happens during the day, especially if we're at home, we don't have a proper workstation, right? Mm -hmm. So people are sitting at their kitchen table, people are sitting on their sofa, some people even sit in bed. <laughs> and Is it you guys? <laughs> you might forget to get up and get yourself a glass of water, mm -hmm. get up and eat. It's important to move and it's important to really unwind and keep your, bo your body nice and nice and, nice and stacked in properly an position. aligned. Right. Okay, so maybe we can go through three stretches that we can do to help realign our bodies. Great, so we've got these stretches that are mainly designed to address stretching head to toe. So the first one, we're gonna take the back joy. Okay, I'll take my back joy. And we're gonna stick it behind us. Okay. As such, so that the rounded part is sticking out against your back. Put it Ooh. right against the, in between your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And then you take your arms up like this. Yeah. And you just stretch back. Oh, that's nice. I just had a crack. Yeah. So this oh, really cool. helps to open up your chest, open up that, those shoulders, and a lot, of, a lot of us lean forward while we're on our devices. Mm -hmm. So this helps to open up after a session of laptop use or phone use. So on Monday when we had Wani in, she was talking about foam rollers and what you can do to open up your chest as well. And this, because of that curve, it kind of simulates a foam roller. So I guess you could put it on the floor as well if you didn't have a you high can. back chair. And you could just roll over it on the floor, right? Exactly. You, okay. can, you can lie down, stretch it out. I actually do that sometimes when I'm doing my yoga. Nice. Okay, yeah. so what next? So then the next stretch, um, we're going to be focused on our hips. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're sitting, you get really tight hip flexors. Yes, and that's my perennial you get, problem. you get tight glutes. Uh, one fun fact is if you sit too long, the muscles in your glutes just wither away. Um, mm -hmm. Same with your core. So back joy helps to activate both your core and your glutes. So all that booty work would be moot if you yeah. spend all your time sat down. And okay. so when you're, when you're sitting, yep. you just bring your leg up okay. and lean forward. Okay. Oh. And you get a nice stretch into your glutes and even into your thigh there. You don't even need to go very low. Yeah. I'm quite tight. So obviously you would do both legs here. Okay. Get a nice stretch there. Oh, goodness me. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Easy to stretch with this, your pants on. Yeah. 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 Like Kelly said, typically most of us are probably at home in active wear. So... So it's We've dressed up for easier, the day. Yeah. yeah, a lot easier to do it than, than, than in swanky clothes. Okay, and the last stretch. And then last but not least, this is more of a movement stretch, again, to help um, strengthen your glutes. Okay. And in, if, if for those of you who work out, we call it a modified pistol. And so you're just going to stand on one leg, put, okay. put pressure on one leg, and stand up. Oh. <laughs> easier said than done. Okay. Stand up, sit down. And you do that about 10 times on each leg. And then we change legs. Change legs. This is my weaker leg. You can see it from the side here. <laughs> and I guess maybe don't do it on a swivel chair because yeah. then it sort of like sways you everywhere, <laughs> left, right, and center. Okay, cool. Three fabulous stretches that we can do, um, including using a back joy for a little bit of an aid, which is absolutely fabulous. Alison, uh, if someone wanted to get hold of a back joy, where can they go? Um, so, as you mentioned, all pharmacies are still open, so Guardian, Pharmacy, um, Unity, etc. And then also, many of us aren't leaving the house, yes. so you can just go to our website at backjoy.com.sg. Any special discounts right now? There, there are some special asking. discounts. Uh, you simply enter, don't laugh at this code, but this code <laughs> will get you 20% off. Capital B J uh -huh. dash friends. BJ, BJ friends. friends. We'll put that up. Awesome. Back joy friends is what it stands for. Make sure you go check it out if you're keen on getting a little bit of an aid to help support you whilst you're working from home. Thank you, Alison, so much for joining us here Thank today. You. We are going to pop off for a short break, but when we come back, it's balloon time. But don't worry, nothing's going to go pop, except we're not using balloons. We're modifying it with balls. Don't go away. <laughs>
Oh, you'll have to pardon me. Barbara's got the hiccups oh. and... <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and always joining us here on The Fun Stuff. If you like what you see or if you have any recommendations on how to get rid of hiccups, I spent the entire of the last segment trying to do that. Oh, Don't forget nice. to drop us a comment below. I would really appreciate it. All right, let's keep the conversation going, but let's also learn how to amuse your children. Really? Yeah, I think just talking. Okay, you can go to Therapy. Now, <laughs> Therapy. Kids are restless. Barbara is restless. Everybody is restless. But let's be honest, not everything needs to be educational when it comes to the children. Playtime is actually super important. Yep. And it's through play that kids often learn the best. So you also need to understand that there are limitations with what you can do on. about your kids. So what you want to do is make sure that you are uh, engaging your children in activities that are A, uh, keeping them occupied, but B, not allowing them to wreak havoc around the house or um, to each other as well, especially if you have siblings. So Barbara has come up with today's activity. We were going to have balloons at first, but then it's we couldn't really... It's, it's not an essential piece of equipment. It's not an essential piece of equipment. We couldn't, we couldn't find, find any. any. So we've decided to swap out balloons. If you have balloons, it would be great. Uh, we are swapping them out, and instead we are using a foam tennis ball. Thanks, Donna. <laughs> okay, so we've got some paint. So we're just going to... You don't really need to be tidy about this. Mm -hmm. When is anything ever tidy when it comes to paint? That is less liquidy than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So I've got some acrylic paint here. I was going to say, you should have asked me to bring some... It's okay. ...poster paint. I'm sure poster paint, non-toxic poster paint, if you are dealing with children, um, should be the ideal type of paint here, I think. Uh, why don't you grab the... I will grab the paper. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Cool, okay. Cool. It was just. I think that's enough. It just needed a bit of encouragement. Okay. Sometimes we all need a little bit of <laughs> hand holding. Okay. Okay. So all you want to do, and again with a balloon, it would be quite fun because then you could just like bloop 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 bloop. So what you want to do is just basically. Should we do the first part with what you would do with a balloon first? Oh yes. Okay. So the other thing that I was going to do with a balloon, or like a soft ball. A lot of the times when you're in the house and all the, the kids, they've got so much energy to burn. Um, but it's very difficult to burn that energy without A, injuring themselves on some piece of furniture, or B, wrecking absolute havoc on the house and breaking all your fragile items. So obviously, we don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. So you take a balloon or you know a super soft ball, probably one that you've been using as a stress ball for the last two weeks and will now be using for the next six, and you play tennis with it. So you go, wee, and then you try and catch it. Can someone? <laughs> I'll roll that back to me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so it, it, it's a good way, especially with a, a balloon, to just throw and hit. Oh, well, I'm not going to do it because okay. it's just going to go everywhere. Um, to just throw and hit, throw and hit. And then they can play indoor tennis, basically, with a balloon. And if you don't have a tennis racket, like so, this is Sienna's little racket that we bought from uh, Decathlon a while ago. You can use a spatula. You, you can use a spatula. You can use frying pans. You can use absolutely anything that has a semi flat surface. Or push comes to shove, you can use your hands. Uh, yeah. But like balloons, paper plates. Yeah. Balloons, however, are a much better option simply because they take longer to fly and yes. you can prevent an oncoming Everything's disaster. Everything's in slow motion. Okay, so getting um, back to the so, messy stuff. I mean, it's so easy. All you want to really do is just kind of dollop a little bit of paint on there and then if you're using a balloon, you could ideally just throw it, especially if you have a big but you canvas. Just wanna, you just want to make like circles. Or then uh, you can you be can... really artistic and do it how Kelly's going to end up doing it. And then you can do like little animals or whatever, right? So that one looks a little bit like a bunny rabbit. That one looks a little bit like a Boston Terrier. Can, can you see it? It's, yeah, It looks sure. like a Boston Terrier. And then once it dries off, then you can start doing things. This okay. is why she's the creative one in the family. And I also brought in silver. I throw some silver in there um, and just, you know, just really have some fun with it and mix things up a bit. And look, even if you're an adult who's doing this and you want to get your creative on. I was just going to say art therapy is a big thing. Art therapy is absolutely amazing nowadays. Actually, I think we're going to get someone in about art therapy in the coming weeks as well. Awesome. So there you go. At least a couple of more things that you can do with your kids to keep them amused and occupied at home. And unleash your inner Picasso. Yeah. yeah a, maybe it's not. not that bad. 
Mm. With the silver in there, it's got a little bit of... Yeah. Anyway, speaking of art therapy, mental health and all of that, if you've got anything you want to say online, like Barbara mentioned, it's going to be another six weeks of us writing this through together. Right. Drop us a comment on Facebook. We are constantly checking through our commercial breaks. So if you want to highlight anything, we're actually also considering... Um, the option of having you guys on the show as well. So mm -hmm. if you would like to appear on the show via a Skype call, uh, we'd like to get you on because we want to hear your views. Talk to us a little bit about how you're doing and how you're coping with Circuit Breaker. Plus, plus it means that we, we get to talk to you, which is just nice. We, we really do want to hear from you guys. So if you've got anything you want to say, if you are living alone at home, or maybe if you are living with people and you wish you were living alone and yes. would like someone to talk to, then please, please do come and talk to us or at least drop us a message on our Facebook page. Get Active TV. That's Can't right. wait to hear from you. So I'm going to go and hang this beautiful piece to dry so my mom can frame it up somewhere. We're going to take a quick break, quick break, but keep those comments coming. We love hearing from you. And when we come back, we've got our very first Skype session. And Technology. who better to have it than the beautiful Sandra Riley Tang. Welcome back to The Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara. It's day eight of our show, when mm -hmm. so far we have managed to get guests in studio, albeit with safe distancing measures. No Nobody touching. touches. Nobody touches. Not even me and her. No, uh, I'm not going to lie. When we initially started production, I did get kind of nervous leaving the house just because you haven't left the house in a while. So mm. stepping out the front door, you're like, no. Yeah, however, um, it is completely normal, completely natural, and That's someone right. who is also going through the same thing and so has decided to join us on Skype, our first ever Skype guest, guys. This is amazing. Uh, say hello to Sandra Riley Tang. Hey. Hi. <laughs> hello, ladies. This is Nacho. Hi, Nacho. We're good. <laughs> pun, pun. It's not your business. Oh, goodness me. You just got to put the puns in wherever you can. <sighs> so, how are you? This is Nacho Dog. Nacho, Nacho dog. dog. Is that how you came up with the name for Nacho? Yes, I just really wanted to tell people, hey, this is Nacho Dog. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Actually, it does. Um, well, it's been day 
I don't know. <laughs> but we've been staying home. To be very honest, I don't think for me personally, there's not much of a difference than usual because I work a lot from home anyway. But um, the only thing that, that is different is that we can't go out. We can't do explorations, adventures with this little nacho dog. Um, but yeah, you know, I think I think it's okay. And I think it's for the greater good. So yeah, it's okay. We're safe at right home. Right before this, you'd actually gone to L.A., you were, you were doing a global Nike campaign. That's big news. Uh, obviously, you are a Nike ambassador and have been for quite some time now. But tell us about it. What, what went down? Oh, man. So um, this was about maybe a month ago. And then I got a call from Nike. And then they told me that um, they want me for a shoot that's happening in one week's time. I'm like, oh, where is it? In LA. I'm like, ha, ha. <laughs> that's kind of quick. And that. Uh, I mean, I immediately jumped jumped on it because I love Nike, and this was a huge, great opportunity to represent Singapore as well. I was like, oh my god, no way, because it's only going to be four girls, and it was a uh, Southeast Asia and uh, Latin America campaign. So there's two girls, one girl from Brazil and one girl from Mexico, and then one girl from Japan, and then I was the other Asian girl, and I was like, <laughs> token Asian. It was... must have felt awesome, though. I mean, just to be in yeah. included. At, at such a global level and to be able to put yourself right up there with, with some of the greatest in the world, right? It's really insane. Like, I, I don't know. It's still really a dream. Like, yeah. But I'm very, 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 very honored that it even thought of me. And like, yeah, we want her. I'm like, what? Did they tell you why? No, oh, you still don't know. <laughs> still don't know. <laughs> You're just like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> So, um, I have been with Nike for quite yeah. a while. I've been with them for maybe four years, five years, and I guess I've been building this relationship with them. I'm staying, you know, stay loyal, and I really do love the brand as well, and I, I really do love what they stand for. And um, I actually had the opportunity to, uh, I flew to Florida um, a couple of years ago when Nike NTC Yoga launched. So I was part of that launch as well. I was the only Asian. And a group of five, yeah. So that was very, really cool. That was my first time doing something um, with Nike, like outside of Singapore. So, and then yeah, and then two years later, prepare again. I'm like, oh, this is it's, it's really cool because I mean, not everybody has the opportunity to do something like this, and for them to even say like, hey, we want you. I'm like, oh man, I can't. This is cool. Speaking of cool though, um, yeah. your music videos, your music, you rebranded as Riley, or do I have to say R -R -R Riley? Like, can we not call you Sandra anymore? Do we just call you Riley? You can. You can. Okay, okay, okay. cool. Okay, Riley. Um, tell, tell us, tell us about the latest one, "Love Me Like a." Yo, so, so um, my latest uh, single that I just dropped was uh, "Love Me Like a," and it's you know you know how like. There's always that, that one track that when you're at home and it comes on and then you're kind of getting ready, all you're all like feeling yourself like, yes, yes, I'm a woman, <laughs> you know? And <laughs> that was kind of like the vibe that I was going for because, I mean, you guys know me personally as well and I'm not always like fancy menchi, I'm not always in a dress or like, I'm rarely in a dress to be honest. Like, if I can't squat in it, I probably wouldn't wear it. So I used to wear a lot of bandage skirts but I don't wear them anymore. And I wore a lot of scores, like, functional, right? Um, but yeah, I'm not the most girly girl, a little bit tomboyish as well. Um, but you know, it doesn't make us any less of a woman. So um, when I wrote Love Me Like a, it was really just like, for all the feminine energy out there, you don't even have to be a woman to have feminine energy, yeah. you know? So it's really just for you to feel yourself and to feel good about yourself and um, expect your partner to love you the same way that you want to be loved and to be unashamed of that. Falling asleep right now? <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh. It's time for his nap. <laughs> oh, bless. So cute. Okay, so the music video was absolutely insane. You look absolutely stunning in all your music videos. Like mm -hmm. it is nuts, but there's a lot that goes behind it. I know I know Ben does a, a lot for you to to make you look fantastic on camera. Like his camera works incredible. <laughs> uh, but but like how do you stay in shape? Oh, um, okay. I think, first of all, I think I'm just, very, I've been blessed with probably a higher level of testosterone. Because <laughs> I have been like this since I was young. And 
I mean, I was very insecure about it when I was a lot younger in school because it'd be like, oh my gosh, she's so muscular. Oh my God. Like, and then there's this guy that actually told me, he was my classmate, he was like the joker. And I was about to step on stage for like a singing competition and I was already embarrassed about everything. And then he was like, hey, you know, if you don't do well in school, it's okay. You can become a bodybuilder next time. And I'm like, oh. <gasps> I mean, okay, like, like now I'm like, sure, cool, you know? But then I was like, oh. <laughs> um, but, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, I think I just enjoy being active. So um, I think for me, it's quite easy for me to put on muscle in that sense. Like, because I don't know, like if, if I work out a little bit and I just put in a little bit of effort. Flex, girl. Let me um, see your guns. Yeah. yeah. I think yours are like, wait, <laughs> your biceps are insane. <laughs> Okay. Your, <laughs> like home away. workouts looking like now that you're you're staying in way more. Oh yes. Sorry, I always get this. My brain goes somewhere else. <laughs> um, so I do this thing called the flexible diet. So um, people like oh you know they they just assume that you know people like us who work out are, are fit like we only eat grains and. <laughs> I don't know, I work out every day, but you know, that's not yeah. true. Um, so what I do is like, um, honestly, I just eat whatever I want, and um, but sensibly. So let's say if I'm going to work out, I work out really hard, I get to eat more. If I don't work out for one week, then I eat less, and I don't snack as much. If I snack a lot this week, then next week, I'm going to make sure that I push myself to work hard. So just kind of off, offset everything. And at home, um, um, we actually, Ryan, my boyfriend here, can kind of set up a home gym, and he was very passionate about it. So we pretty much have every equipment that oh, we wow, need that's awesome. on our balcony. Wow. So very, very lucky oh, with that. That's yeah. fantastic. At least you bought it all before everyone started buying out all the equipment at Decathlon and every single online fitness store. Yeah, it, I did. That was so crazy when I heard about that. I'm like, what people? Are, uh, the things are sold out at Decathlon. I'm like crazy, but yeah. And you get to start mostly from carousel because it's cheaper because secondhand it's okay don't waste so it's yeah. cheaper so exactly okay now speaking of <laughs> having a flexible diet uh are you up for a challenge yes always up for a challenge okay sweet um so, so we'd ask you to get uh a loaf of bread on standby have you got a slice of bread Okay. Oh, suddenly Nacho's awake. Nacho's, <laughs> Nacho's like, oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there is this challenge where you have 60 seconds to, <laughs> to finish a slice of bread. I hope your hair's clean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so Kelly's going to start a watch. We're going to cue you. You can't drink any water. Um, and you can I drink water first? No, no, no. First? Now that we've started <laughs> the challenge, <laughs> we've, so we've started the interview. <laughs> you, you, you got to keep going now, okay? So you're gonna have sixty seconds right, right, right. in which to complete a slice of bread. For those of you who are joining us at home, we're gonna be trying this a little bit later on after the break. That's right. But it's now Sandra's turn. And so, nachos cannot help. Yeah, nacho cannot help. Okay, Don't nacho, hands off, paws off. Ready? <laughs> Your time starts in three, two. One, go. You're doing pretty good, you know. It's just like, You're like soaking up all the saliva in her mouth. Halfway in. Ooh, Ooh she's using techniques. Technique. She's using techniques. Okay, she's scrunching it up into a ball. I feel like I need to be doing running commentary. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official bread slice eating competition. Completing the challenge. The question is, the will she quarter. be able to We're swallow this there. in the last 15 seconds? We need to see an empty mouth. She has got about 10 seconds left to go. Come on, Nine. baby. You go. What? Yay! In the oh, nick of time, I was like, hello, my mouth is open, I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's really good. I don't think I have successfully completed it. We will be trying it later on live on TV for everyone because it's, it's got to be fair, right? You do it, so we got to do it as well, right? <gasps> that's right. Thank my you. Heart is <laughs> <laughs> How was it? How was it? Was it easy? Was it challenging? Um, I believe I, I've swallowed, like, swallowed like bread this time, it's like, it's just in my stomach, but like this. <laughs> no, but it's okay, I think. You just have to chew, but it might, but I think if you chew it really quick, and I think if you squish it up, I think it would help. Okay. okay. 
techniques. We'll, we'll try that later on. Tactics. Yeah. All that coming to you after the break. Sandra, thank you so much for joining us. Wacky Wednesdays. Thanks for having me. With Yes. Yes. So we're going to try we, that out. Where can we find that? Oh, I can't wait to see you guys do oh. it. Uh, well, it's on TikTok <laughs> um, at, at It's Riley, I T S W -R, R I L E Y. And then I also posted a video on my Instagram so you guys can check that out. And do it. Hashtag Love Me Like a, And I can't wait to see you guys do it. And we'll try. <laughs> All right. We're going to be back really, really soon with Kelly and I trying out the bread challenge. In the meantime, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. back. It's the morning show with us, your favorite sisters. Well, at least I hope we are your favorite sisters. Now on today's Break It Down, uh, we thought it'd be fun that instead of teaching you something, we get you to take part in a challenge with us, much like what we just did with Sandra. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned just before the break, all you need is one slice of bread. And the challenge is, can you finish that slice of bread in 60 seconds? Well, we're going to give it a try because we figured we might as well. Hopefully you, you enjoyed. can't talk the talk. Yeah. You can't walk the walk. Talk the talk. talk. Walk the talk. Y'all know what I mean. I hope you guys enjoyed the interview with Sandra. She's so funny. Yeah, she's uh, awesome. I know we had a few technical difficulties there, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed her little chat. I don't know. I think Nacho thought we were a little bit boring. Yeah. There was one point where he was just asleep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So slice of bread in hand. We've got 60 seconds on the clock. I love how you brought wholemeal bread as well. Yeah. Well, it's got to be healthy. It's like 100% um, wholemeal. So yeah. Kelly has a slice. I have a slice. Our crew each have a slice. Yep. So we're all going to do it together and hopefully get it in 60 seconds. One minute on the count of three. One, three, two, two, three, one, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. It's going to be a really quiet minute. Now remember, you can't have any water. When you make sure that you're chewing this in the whole time. How are you? Oh, okay, you got two pieces left. Come on, Done. He's got to swallow it. Mm. You have to clear your mouth. You've got 28 seconds left on the clock. My mm, jaw's getting hard. Mm. It's like what Sandra was saying, right? 
Five euro, fifteen seconds. No. <laughs> that was bad move. Ba boom! What? With seven seconds to go, Barbara in the house gets first place. Who else is done? Done. Done. Oh, time's up. Uh, done. Oh. oh my goodness me! I'm still going. How do you? Say anyway, so that's right? breakfast. Um, so we did some research on how the pros do it. Um, so let's take a quick look to see. Oh my goodness me! I, well, we have a sip of water. I'm still yeah. chewing, but let's see how the pros did it. Oh, do we have the video? One I've never heard of. It's actually the Wonder White Bread Challenge. I don't know if that's what it's called, but basically the challenge is to eat one slice of Wonder Bread, just one, in 45 seconds. Seems easy enough, but apparently it's not. You saw I got a loaf of Wonder Bread, classic white. I got stopwatch right here for 55 seconds, so I got a 10 second countdown. Just for good measure, being the optimistic human being I am, I'm going to pull out, what, what do you think, four slices of bread? <laughs> I have four slices here. I mean, uh, okay, I don't know what. Is it all in here? Yeah, yeah. All right, good. Mm. All right. Five, four, three, two. One, go! Open up the You gotta show your mouth's clear. What the heck? Come on, get it. Open it. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. I that don't just, know what to think about that. That gave me indigestion watching it, but to be fair, oh. that guy is like, He's a pro, one of those pro eaters. Right. So he's got all these videos on YouTube about Well, him you can just, tell the way he's trying to open yeah, up his like, esophagus to try and like shove it down. It was like a snake just eating something. Anyway, maybe you want to wash it down with a little something. Mm -hmm. Some bubble tea, perhaps. Mm. Now, for all of you true BBT fans out there, I know you're sad, you're heartbroken, you're depressed because you truly believe that bubble tea is an essential service. But we actually hunted down a tutorial courtesy of the guys at MDC and a couple of guys, so Ray Ray as well as I am Kim. After doing a little bit of digging research, I finally found out who did it. Uh, but here's a quick tutorial on how you can make bubble tea at home. Whoop. So it's quite simple. All you have to do. Come on, put in that one. There you go, how to make bubble tea. I've decided that I'm going to try and achieve uh, a really good cup of bubble tea by the end of this weekend. And then oh. we will use it for Break It Down next week to satisfy all you bubble tea fans. But once again, so Ray Ray and thanks. I am Kim for helping us on with that. You, Hopefully um, it'll ease your bubble tea syndrome. Can syndrome. you also try and make the Ayu jelly? Cause that's, I don't actually like pearls. I just like the Ayu jelly and uh, yeah. I like that. Alrighty. Thanks. Uh, yeah. You're welcome. All righty, we're going to go for a short break. Remember, join us online. Keep the conversation going. When we come back, we're going to be delving into my lunchbox.
happy hump day! Welcome back to the morning show. And well, the lunching hour is upon us. So while our bellies aren't rumbling as much as they usually are at this point, I'm sure yours is. Kelly, what have we got? Well, today I decided to get in lunch from uh, Cafe Football, and it's a set meal uh, under the whole CF Treats initiative. Uh, so you bought this for me? Kinda, kinda. Because <laughs> essentially, what you can do is for thirty dollars, you can send a friend a essentially a three course meal. So they've got mm. a full menu for you to choose from. Um, but aside from sending you a three course meal, they also give you a really nice postcard, um, oh. and they write a little handwritten note on the back of it as well. So it's it's kind of cute because it's a nice way of showing. People that you care and that you love them without being physically present, uh, and it's also supporting our FMB industries as well. You know, save FMB and all. So let's talk a little bit about what we have. We mentioned we have a three-course meal over yep. by you, Mimi. We've got some battered fried prawns. They it's look like delicious. Five of them. They are huge as well. It's really good. Like Massive. portion size for like a thirty-dollar meal, you're getting a lot of value. I would so say that's like your starters. two people can easily. Yeah. Get into this one, or one husband. Um, uh, the this main course, obviously, it's been sat there for a little while. But like we've essentially got boneless chicken thigh. We've mm -hmm. got some fries under there and some green salad to make sure that you're getting a healthy balance. And then my favorite, and also because desserts are now non-essential, uh, <laughs> unless you're getting them from a place which also has dessert and other meals. Uh, churros. Churros with. A delicious chocolate dipping oh, sauce as well so it is a full sweet right in front of you and like I said for $30 you're able to send some love to your friends if you would like to find out more you can mm -hmm. head over to Cafe Football I've actually been past that place a few times never eaten there yeah so no, I'm I've really seen excited it. Seen it. So to try their food today when you order don't forget to send the name of your friend and also their hand phone number so that you know when the delivery is arriving they know how to send it to mm -hmm. um, don't forget to include the message on the postcard. I yes. think that's a really nice personal touch. Yep. And you can pay now them. They've, they've got all the details when you order, so you can just make the payment uh, directly. Yeah, for orders and inquiries, you can always get in touch with them at 97548344 or 84847710. It's very important to stay in touch with all of our friends and loved ones. And you know what? This is just a nice little way of showing that you care. That's I mean, right. our mother, her love language is uh, food. So, so every day I've been bringing in food to pass to Kelly. Yeah, it's it's a great <laughs> it's a great way of sending some love, especially if you haven't quite honed down your gourmand skills. But anyway, Cafe Football has actually kindly allowed us to give away one CF treat set. We're going to be giving that away on, on Friday. Friday. So sit tight for all of that coming your way. If you'd like to send some to your friends, send some delicious food. However, for today. Like we said, our giveaway is two $20 vouchers from local sportswear brand Kydra. All you need to do is like the Get Active TV Facebook page, comment on the morning show and tag a friend and tell us why you need that extra little discount for your new active wear set. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, now with our bellies inspired, kids playing with uh, balloons, balls and pains, and uh, the fact that we're still reeling from eating a slice of bread in a minute, well, her uh, anyway, it's time for us to step back and ready ourselves for the rest of the day with our Mindful Minute with Janice O. Hi guys, it's me again. I'm going to teach you today um, a breathing technique called os alternate nostril breathing. Uh, as the name suggests, you will be breathing through only one nostril at a time. Um, and why we do this, sometimes it really helps to clear the nasal passages from sometimes one, uh, one side of the nostril. Uh, one nostril is a little bit more blocked than the other one. And this will really help you be more aware of that and also to help you just clear both passages out, okay? Uh, I'll show you how to do it uh, first before we do it together, all right? Uh, you can do this alternate nostril breathing anytime during the day. It either helps you improve your focus or it can help you relax. If uh, you, You've got to try it and see what works for your body, okay? Uh, for some of us, I've heard some people say that sometimes they get a little dizzy doing this. So if you find yourself getting dizzy at all, please feel free to stop at any time, okay? So how we do this is with the right hand. We're going to make um, this... Uh, this, this hand gesture where your index and middle finger presses down into your palm. You don't have to press it really hard, uh, but releasing only your thumb. Uh, 
your uh, forefinger and your little pinky finger, okay? So we will only be using the thumb and the fourth finger to press on each nostril each time. So let me show you how it's done. Uh, with the thumb, I will be pressing to close my right nostril. I start by inhaling through the left nostril. Then I'll close the left nostril, open up the right and exhale through the right. Then inhale through the same side, which is the right. Use the thumb, close the right, open up the left, exhale through the left. And that's considered one round, okay? So in through the left, out through the right, then go back into the right and out through the left. So we're going to try that together. So uh, your palms facing forward, press the middle and uh, index and middle fingers down to your palms. Then turn your palm to face you. Good. Take a deep inhale through your nose first. And exhale through your nose. Great. Use your thumb. Close your right nostril. Good. Sitting up tall. Inhale through the left. Close the left. Exhale through the right. You can always close your eyes if you feel comfortable. Inhale through the right. Close the right. Out through the left. Good. In through the left. Out through the right. Couple more rounds. In through the right. Out through the left. Okay, three more rounds. In through the left. Out through the right. In through the right, out through the left, in through the left, out through the right. Inhale fully through the right, and exhale fully through the left. Good. Now we're going to go through our last round. Inhale through the left. Out through the right. In through the right. And out through the left. You release your hand down to your lap. Take a deep inhale through both nostrils. Notice how that feels. And exhale through both nostrils. Stand by Good. And then gently blink open your eyes. Okay? So remembering that uh, this alternate nostril breathing can be done at any time. Just make sure that you're seated comfortably or lying comfortably um, before you do any of these postures and that uh, your posture is relaxed, your shoulders are down, and you're not slouching too much. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Janice. That was a perfect way to get us through the midweek mayhem. What a feeling. Now, don't forget, it's Back to Basics with Natalie Dow, a.k.a. Rockstar Arms, later this afternoon at 3 p.m. And you're in for a treat tonight at 9 p.m. on Evenings with John and Duncan. We'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. for Tough Nut Thursdays to bring you the ultimate workout guide. Running 